Hello, everybody. Welcome to Friday. The S&P 500 was up 0.08% today. Most of the indexes were kind of flat today, although a lot of them were up a lot more. And right at the end, we saw some sell-off. And the thing that interests me is that we also saw sell-off in the Bitcoin and cryptocurrencies, which were down roughly 10% today. Uh, and so, uh, you know, is there a relationship between these cryptocurrencies and Bitcoin, which are not in the stock market at all, and the stock market itself? Well, I did read a really interesting study uh, this week where they did some research and looked at how Bitcoin was moving and how the S&P 500 was moving. They did find a positive correlation. And so they have a mathematical formula for, for correlation. And basically a 1.0 correlation means it moves up and down exactly the same. Uh, negative 1.0 means they go exactly the opposite direction, right, as far as that goes. Uh, and so this uh, a study said that uh, Bitcoin had a 0.2% uh, 0.20 uh, correlation with the S&P 500. Uh, and so that's not that high uh, per se, uh, but it is positive, which I thought was kind of interesting. Uh, and they also said that in extreme situations where the cryptocurrency made really big moves, uh, then it was higher. It got to 0.26 uh, uh, on the correlation. So I, again, I think that's kind of fascinating. Now, you know, this is something we're still learning about and we're still trying to figure out how this is working. Is the stock market, you know, moving and then cryptocurrency is being affected or is it the vice versa? Uh, you know, where cryptocurrency is moving. So far, what I've seen, you know, kind of watching it kind of day by day here, I would say the cryptocurrency is having a bit more impact on the stock market as a whole than vice versa. And, and one of the things I think could be happening here is that uh, with cryptocurrency, you're allowed to use a lot of leverage if you so desire. You know, if you, if you want to buy a stock, the SEC limits that to 50%, you know, margin or leverage. So if I want to buy $100 worth of stock, I would, you know, uh, only be able to, you know, I could pay $50 and get 100 uh, but you can go all the way to 100 to 1 on cryptocurrency because it's not a regulated market. So theoretically, you put $1 in and buy $100 worth of Bitcoin. Uh, and so obviously what happens then if it starts to fall, that $1 that you have could disappear. And then there's a margin call and people are having to gather money to pay off that margin call. And sometimes that means selling you know, some of the stocks that, that, that we might own. So this is something to watch for. I think it's going to be kind of interesting, uh, you know, how much impact it has one way or another. Uh, and, you know, we're still unfolding this. It's becoming very popular. There's a lot of different, uh, you know, 5,900 and some odd different cryptocurrencies out there, which, you know, there's only 3,800 stocks on the U.S. Stock Exchange. So it's kind of incredible how many options there are. So, you know, we'll see how this plays out. But overall, uh, it's just something to watch for. It's, you know, there's always these outside influences, you know, things that are happening. And obviously the virus was a huge one, but, you know, situation uh, in a foreign country that can happen, you know, all these things that are always happening. It's why the portfolio design is so important uh, to try to, you know, mitigate some of these, you know, unknown circumstances that can come along and how much you have in bonds versus how much you have in stocks. And then what types of stocks and what types of bonds you have to kind of create that, you know, scenario that works for you so that you know, the ups and downs are there as far as that goes. So uh, just something I thought I'd report on. I thought it was very interesting as far as that goes, but um, something I will continue to watch, something we'll continue to talk about. So anyway, I had a great time today at Go, Go Live with Tom. Great questions. Really, really fun uh, sessions, uh, actually. So look forward to talking to you on Tuesday. Everybody have a great three-day weekend, and I'll see you then. Thank you.